Okay, Judy, let's try this again. <laughs> um, all right, so we're working on this land as your land. This is going to be something that we're just going to do the switching of the chords most efficiently. I really, that's all I want you to do with this. Um, just so that you can focus on getting from one chord to the next as fast as you can. So uh, we're working on G's, D's, A's, A7's, D's, D7's, and then back around. So the first one's going to be going from G to D. I want you to use this G where you're putting down your second, I mean, sorry, your third and your fourth finger up on the high strings. And that way, when you go from that chord to D, your third finger can just stay down. Just like that. Okay? So initially, I just want you to do G. Keep your third finger down no matter what. Just glue it on. Kind of awkwardly figure out how those fingers are going to move. And then get down to the D. Okay? Once that feels good, you do it a couple times. So remember, it stays down. Then I want you to do it back the other way. So you're on D. Keep your third finger down no matter what and make it work to get to the G. Okay, even if it's awkward, just go back and forth where your third finger stays down because eventually it won't be awkward anymore. Eventually it'll just be how you do it and you won't have to think about it anymore. Okay, so you're going from G to D and D to G. Okay, and the reason we're doing that really um, is just get it so that you're you don't think about it anymore and the third finger just stays down no matter what because you really won't go from D to G in this song and oh yeah you will you will at the end of the song if you play the song twice in a row you'll go from D to G you'll see that there but the other one is going from D7 to G and there really just isn't a really good way to do that one so we'll work on that in a second um, but the other one's going to be D to A so you're on D and your third finger is on the third, dang on it, sorry, third fret, second, uh, second string D right there, okay? That same finger is going to be on that same string for the A chord, but down a fret, okay? So you're going to start on the D here with the third finger on here, on the third fret, and it's going to land here, so that your second and third finger just go on top of it to play the A chord. So you'd work on going from D, and then you can almost hear, when I play it, you can hear it, you can hear it going... Okay, you don't have to hear it, but that's just because I'm pushing so hard. You want from a D, third finger moves down. Actually, you should think of it like this. You play a D, first and second finger come off, third finger slides down a fret, and then you play the A chord. Okay, now, what you do in this next part is take the second finger off and play A7, but the rule going from A or A7 back to D is still the same. Your third finger slides back up. So if you wanted to, you could just go from D to A, Take your middle finger out, and then slide it back up to D. And that would get you there, okay? That would have you working on that section that goes from D, A, A7, back to D, okay? So first one was G to D, and back and forth. Second one is D to A, take your middle finger out, and move it back up to D, okay? And that'll pretty much get you there. That'll have you working on it um, so that no matter what combination of chords you open in this, this land is your land, you'll play them all. Because if you look, the last couple of measures there, you go uh, D to A to D, which you basically have already done from A7, so it's not a big deal. Okay? Every, you should be able to see everything there. All right, that will do it for the chords for this week. Just make sure you're working on it as slowly as you can, just working on each change. Um, and then when it's time to play the song all the way through at the right tempo, then you won't have to worry about it. You'll just be playing the song. Okay?